I hear a kill? Yes, I do. Whoa there! Yo! Yo! Oh my good lord. So yeah, I guess you guys have read the title right. I know countless YouTubers have covered this in the past, but I think that it's time for me to state my opinion after this update. Now, as I'm recording this, it's November 9th. Tomorrow, I have a calculus midterm test. And so I'm going to record this video as fast as I can, and then I'm going to go study. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, you read the title right. Phantom Forces has a problem. Now, the major issue resides in the fact that the developer team does not play the game with a certain frequency. At least 95% of us have never seen a developer in-game. Me, I've seen some aphorism in-game, but that was like six months ago. Now, let's think this out logically. When you need to add new content to a game, which is guns, I think there's some sort of criteria that needs to be followed in order not to make that gun a direct upgrade to an already existing gun, a direct downgrade to an already existing gun, or a gun that is flat out broken beyond belief and takes over the meta in the span of 10 minutes. In my opinion, in no way on earth, Two guns like those would have made it into the game with those stats. Let's be real with ourselves for once. I don't think any of us a few years ago would have expected a gun like this to make it into the game with 54 max damage. 54 damage is a ton, especially for an LMG. And take into account that this gun has 2.2 studs of pen. What, what is actually crazy to me is the shots to kill table. So yeah. Here we are in the damage range calculator. I have inserted all the variables and you can see that the bar can two shot up to 61 studs. Okay, now 61 studs is not that short, okay? We're not talking about 25, 30 studs, no. 60 studs is twice as much as that. Now, knowing that the bar can four hit kill at any range, I was curious to see the three hit kill range of the bar. You guys see where I'm going with this, right? Just like the bar, I don't think that any of us would have expected a thing like this to make it into the game with the stats that it has. Let's take a moment to realize that this gun does more damage than all the DMRs. The highest damage I've seen on a DMR is 62 and it was on the old Beowulf TCR. Now let's go to the shots to kill table one second again. Almost forgetting, the funny H car has a 1.6 head multiplier which allows it to one hit kill to the head. And now you may wonder, what's the one hit kill head range? 87 stud. Hell, I think the Beowulf PCR has a shorter one hit kill head range. Now, knowing that the H car can 3 hit kill at any range with a 1.15 torso multi, me, the curious person that I am, wanted to find out the 2 hit kill range. Now, if you hit the limbs, this gun can 2 hit to 114 studs. However, though, if you hit the torso, it can 2 hit to 129 studs. Now, I guess the only thing that saves this gun from being absolutely broken, overpowered, beyond belief, is the fact that this gun can, luckily for us, not kill with one headshot and a torso shot. It's semi-automatic, it has 30 rounds in the mag. Did I mention it? I don't think I did, which is absolutely crazy considering that this gun can one-shot head. Nah, bro, I genuinely still wonder, after a week, how did this gun make it into the game with the stats that it has? Like, nah, dude, this can be real. This gun can have made it. Oh, and did I mention that this gun can become an automatic gun? Yeah, this gun has a full auto conversion. And even then, it does 60 damage with this full auto conversion. I don't think I have ever seen an automatic gun that deals 60 damage. And yeah, now we switch to the bar. Funny LMG that can 2 hit the 60 studs. Wow, you head glitched me. How funny. Peak. Whoa there. Okay, you need a muzzle break in order to make this gun work. Because that vertical recoil, that's not doing you any good. Do I hear a kill? 
Yes, I do. Whoa there! What the hell? Do I hear another grenade kill? Yes, I do. Game ended. 55 and 19 with two completely different guns. Two guns that are just a little outrageous in terms of stats, you know? Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna go study some calculus because tomorrow I have the calculus midterm exam. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about those two guns and hopefully I'll catch you guys soon.